Hey Wicked Army, Wicked here, and welcome to a Clash of Clans sneak peek all about the new level of heroes and also a few buffs and balance changes coming to Clash of Clans. So before I start, I'd like to mention I've released a few sneak peeks at the same time, so check out the description or pinned comment to see those videos after this video. Let's see if we can get 500 likes for this episode so we can hit it as a community. And remember to subscribe to this channel for the latest sneak peeks and update gameplay for both Clash of Clans and Clash Royale. So this is developer's build guys, so anything that I show, I can't show the cost or the training time um, because it could change when it hits live with the real update. So guys, in this episode, we're going to talk about the heroes. So the heroes, Barbarian King and the Archer Queen, I'm going to have levels from 41 to 45 available at Town Hall 11 only, so we're, I think they're trying to increase the distance between Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11, uh, so when a Town Hall 11 actually attacks a Town Hall 10, oh man, bam, it's, got, it's gonna go down. Um, and right next to the heroes is the Christmas tree for 2016, it looks pretty sweet to me. I have a feeling like next year Town Hall 12 will drop, I just got a feeling because all these increases are happening. And uh, Town Hall 12 is probably on the cards for probably end of the next year, I think. I think. That's what I believe. I think it's time. Um, a lot of max Town Hall 11s out there. So the witch damage and hit points are increased. So I'm going to talk about the balance changes now. Uh, so the Clash team said the witch still isn't quite where they want her to be. Uh, this cautiously optimistic boost focuses more on her direct damage. So she does uh, have increased health points and damage. But I don't think the witch is actually needing those. I think it's the, the nerf was actually when the skeletons can't trip traps, like the spring traps or the giant bombs. I think that was the big thing why people used the witch back in the day. So the balloons attack after reaching their target is slightly sooner, so they'll shoot faster than in the initial attack. The dragon attack speed increased. Uh, DPS is unchanged, so it's just uh, attack speed is faster. That's going to be quite interesting. I might do a dragon raid, some balloon raids, witch raids, and pekka raids in future episodes before the update. So keep an eye on my channel and make sure you subscribe. So the pekka's attack speed is going to be increased, but DPS is unchanged. That's going to be interesting as well. So there's going to be upgrade discounts that are going to affect other town halls other than town hall 11. So the first one is Barbarian King, levels 31 to 40. Uh, the Archer Queen levels 26 to 40, Walls from level 10 to 11, Wizard Towers from levels 3 to 9, that's that's quite huge, it affects a lot of town halls there. Um, Clan Castle levels 5 to 6, Hog Rider at all levels guys, and Golem at all levels. So it's going to be those two things at the end, going to be cheaper for Dark Elixir, because uh, a lot of people use Golems and Hog Riders. And I'm glad that's actually getting reduced at all levels. So it doesn't affect just Town Hall 11 guys. So there we go. There's something for the other guys other than Town Hall 11. But everyone, let's try to get to Town Hall 11 as far as we can. But they keep giving out these updates. It's, it's such a long road. So so I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Make sure you put in hashtag update hype in the comments below to let me know you guys watch the entire video. Smack that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And remember guys, stay with it.